What I want to do is have backup storage about 100 feet away from this computer. That would put it in a different building. I can do this by Ethernet cable and power the drive over the Ethernet cable. What I got is a Buffalo drive because this is a network drive. It runs on 12 volts. I can run the 12 volts over the Ethernet cable and power the drive. There's a problem with it. I can't see the drive on my computer, and the drive isn't as secure as I want it to be. It's secure over the network. You need a password to get into it if you set it up for a password to get into it. And you can set up the separate shares password protected, or you can set them up as a guest. But the problem is, if you cut it open, take this drive out, and you put it on a computer separate and apart from this case, then you can access this drive anywhere you want. You can see all the files. You can change the files. You can do whatever you want to it. You can even put back into this enclosure, and you can see all the changes that were made. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to access the drive. Now if we go to Browse Networks, we have all the uh, network drives and the computers listed in this network. To be fair, I did buy another uh, Buffalo drive that does show up in here, but this particular one doesn't. Why it doesn't, I don't know. First thing we need to do is we need to know what the IP address is. And I'm cheating. I already know what it is. But this is how you look up the IP address. Okay, now we're going to use this command right here. But in order to use this command, we have to install it first. Okay, let's clear the screen. Right here we see the Buffalo Drive. And this is the address for the Buffalo Drive, so we'll just copy it out. This is the shares on the drive. Information, it comes with information, it comes with share. This is one that I added click on it. I can't get in. And we're in. Once we're in here, we can create our own documents. Okay, there was another problem that was in Windows as well. Now in Windows, we're not going to be able to see it either. As a network, we can make a network drive with it. Okay, in order to get it going on here, there's two ways to do it. you got to know the IP address. Or you can use their software. And this was interesting.
So while we're waiting for this, I'll show you how to set it up on Linux. Okay, all you need to do is enter the IP address in here. And then we hit go or enter. It's already been set up. When you set up a network drive or a NAS, same thing as network drive. The first thing you're going to come into is something like this. This is the first thing you're going to come to. And then you're going to want you to put it in the password and you're going to put it in twice and then proceed from there. Now we're not going to do that. Because it's already been set up. But that's how easy it is to set up a network drive. This drive is no different. This thing is taking forever. Why are we doing this? Oh, here we go. No link station is detected. This is what happened the first time I did it. it said, fail to detect link station. Make sure that the link station has finished booting. The power LED. Well, let's forget all that. Well, it's just going to run it again. Finish. Let's see if there's a link station on here. Let's see what we got. Well, this is how you set up a network drive. You need to know what the share is in order to do it. And they give you examples. And here they are. Interestingly enough, this has not gotten there yet. This has. Back that up again. Yeah, let's pick our share. I'll pick this one right here. You can put remember if you want. There we go. Open the notepad. And what do we say? Not secure. So now we have a way to access it on Windows and a way to access it on Linux. This isn't working very well. The last time I tried it, this actually did work. That is not what I expected, but we do have it here. Okay, so remember this is this not secure. That's our not secure file, the test file. So now we're going to take that drive down and we're done with Windows. Linux actually worked, but Windows didn't. A test file. Let's close this for now. And we're gonna disconnect it. Okay, here's our drive. Not secure. Disconnected. It's outside the drive. Attached to the computer. We can go anywhere on this drive we want. We can actually change this.
Okay. This is another interesting thing we can look at. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's all, this is the area that they're using to store your files in. Swap area or swap partition. Then the rest of this is running the operating system. This is typical free space, nothing there. And you can see the percentage how the full it is. But that's only for the operating system. All the way from here over to here is the operating system. This is where your files are. This is not a RAID or anything like that. It's very simple. It's this right here. We can even make a directory in here. And put our own file in here if we wanted to. Now I want to bring up something else too. This is not uh, thought of in a vacuum. Here we have uh, a review. This is on a this is on a Western Digital NAS drive. And when the data becomes inaccessible after the W10 update messes with the firmware, you open up the case, get your drive out, and find you can't recover the data unless you have. What does this say right here? Link system to connect the drive to for recovery. Now, something to keep in mind. Linux can get in here, and that's what we're using right here to get on this drive. We can put the drive back together. Save that. We'll pull it up again. Notice that it looks like we're in this. See, we can't click into it. It's not there. Go here. The drive is not on the network. We go back. It'll keep this in here, but it's not going to connect to it. Not mounted. The drive is not on the network. Okay, now we're going to put the drive back together. All right, it's booting. Let's see if we see it on here. Yeah, see, it's not here. We have it up here, right here. We don't have it down here when we entered the command a second time. It's not down here. And you give it a chance to boot. Hasn't shown up yet. There it is. Okay, now this drive is going to be accessible. So go back over here. Main Linux. What does that say? Not secure at all. Remember, we made this in Linux. Oh, let's go to the test drive. And what do we do here? For sure, not secure. This is serious because if this drive was ever stolen and it was pulled apart, this drive could be put on a computer and your files could be accessed. If this video was helpful and informative, click like, and thank you for watching my video.